Hey everyone, it's February 9th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share it with serial killer Mark Sappington, known as the Kansas City Vampire, who murdered and ate part of four victims in 2001. And that is him right up there. Sappington was born in 1978 and grew up on the north side of Kansas City, Kansas, in an impoverished neighborhood. His mother did her best to raise him on her own, but in a neighborhood riddled with drugs, gangs, and violence, it's a tall order for anyone, let alone a single mother, barely keeping her own head above water. She was heavily involved in her church and brought Sappington along with her, where he seemed to have found a second home. But she also spent time in mental hospitals for schizophrenia, which unfortunately seems to have been passed on to her son. While he didn't excel academically, he was thought to be a smart child, and people genuinely liked him. By all accounts, he's quite charming and funny. But by the time he was a teenager, the streets got to him, and he began experimenting with drugs, starting with marijuana, moving on to danks, which are cigarettes soaked in embalming fluid, and ultimately using PCP straight up. The police brought him home on quite a few occasions when he was on a binge, but he never engaged in crimes against people, just minor infractions that didn't make sense to prosecute. Unfortunately, mental health care was unavailable to someone in Sappington's situation, and as such, he was unable to receive treatment for an undiagnosed case of schizophrenia. His drug use only exacerbated the problem, and when he began to hear voices at the age of 21, he did even more PCP in an effort to drown them out. He later said that the voices told him that he needed to eat flesh and drink blood or he himself would die. Sappington did just that, to the detriment of four residents of Kansas City in March and April of 2001. His first murder seems rather mundane compared to what was to come. It was simply a robbery gone wrong, but afterwards something in him snapped. Sappington walked the streets for the next three weeks, talking to the voices in his head, asking, what about him and what about her? When he finally got approval for his next victim, it was an old friend who he took into his basement where he hacked him to pieces with a hunting knife. This left the walls dripping with blood, which he lapped up before dumping the body across the river in Kansas City, Missouri. Three days later, he killed another friend, stabbing the man in his own car, but only made a cursory effort at drinking his blood before fleeing the scene. On the way home from that killing, he spotted a young man who he knew from church, and he invited the 16-year-old boy to come back to the home he shared with his mother, where he shot the boy in the chest with a shotgun. This time, he crudely dismembered the body and ate part of one leg before disposing of the rest in a trash bag. His mother came home to a terrible scene, and he fled, but was quickly picked up by police. He confessed to the authorities and even jokingly asked one of the detectives if he could eat the man's leg. Sappington was convicted of murder in 2004, receiving four consecutive life sentences, which he is serving in El Dorado, Kansas. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Mark Sappington, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.